Hello, hello, hello. Today we're talking about the rat pill and the QI charger and how you can make life even easier for yourself. So if you have got the rat pill, you're probably going to like it. I really enjoy mine so far. But the problem is that every time, and these are similar to the eye tilt, or sorry, the tilt and the eye spindle, that every time you need to charge it, yes, that's going to be quite a few months in theory, you've got to unscrew it all and you're moving the board around and there will be slight different weight displacements inside here. So when you put it back again, it's not going to be calibrated. So again, you've got to go through the, the faff of calibrating it. Um, it's a reasonably easy thing to do, but at the same point, it's just an extra step. So what you Kegland have done, is they've created a wireless QI uh, uh, kit, which is just basically turns it into like a mobile phone where you can then sit this on top of a charger and it will charge. So you'll never need to open this again. And that is absolutely incredible because it means you never need to calibrate it again. Now, there are a few people online who've done videos of installing one of these. And what it is, is a small little co coil cable uh, with sticky pads you've got to put inside your pill and then replace the weights that are in here with two new weights. It helps balance it out. The problem that the way Kegland say how you install it and is, is a little bit, in theory, it's the right way to do it, clearly. But the problem is because you've got a small little bit of plastic at the bottom underneath here that you've got to line it up to, it, it can be a bit awkward. It's already stuck in place. So I found a secret way of doing it, which is much easier, uh, to be honest, extremely easy and really recommend you doing that. So what we're going to do is I'll show you what's inside the kit get it installed, and then you can see for yourself how easy it is. Okay, so. What we have is the actual charging pad. This is USB-C, which I'm very pleased to see. And a protective film, so I'm just going to take that off. There we go, look at that, it's nice and shiny. Then, the USB-C or USB-A to the USB-C cable for actual charging it. And then a little bag with the actual QS charger, QI charger and batteries. Now what you'll get as well are two magnets. And these are to replace the two that are in there. They're both weighted the same, so you don't need to worry about which one's top, which one's bottom. The actual wireless charger and a couple of stone foam sticky pads. Now, on Kegland's video, they show this as already having a sticker on there, which is this one here. And for some reason, my kit, whether it's all UK kits, all kits around the world, no longer come with them already put on. We've got to put them on ourselves. Just open this up. And I would recommend taking the battery out just to be on the safe side. There we go. Okay. Now what they say on the website is to take the magnets off first, which makes perfect reasoning. Now also put the back magnets to one side, the old ones, because otherwise you uh, don't want to get them mixed up with the new ones. It is literally just a put your nail underneath it and prise it off. You may get some sticky residue left behind, a little bit over there. Just rub it with your fingers and it will kind of come off. Just try and keep it as clean as you can. Yeah, there's a quite a big bit on there. Yeah, it's all pretty much all off now. Give it a good hard push. Again, a bit of a push, squeeze it down to make sure it's all on there. Now I would recommend not sticking these directly to here, but putting it onto here instead. And I will show thee why. Be careful, these are very, very sticky. So, placing this eyes up against the edge, making it so it's uh, balancing this in the middle. Yep, that is. Push it down a bit. 
and take off the protective film. If you've got nails, I don't have good nails. There we go. And then do the same thing with the next one. This can be a little bit stick or stuck in here, depends on how well it's been cut. Got to be careful not to break it though. If you do, it's not the end of the world, it's just not ideal. There we go. And same with this one. Just place it on top of the other one as straight as you can. There we go. And then peel that off. Just put that to one side. This then needs to be folded down. So you want the coil, copper side, facing down. So you've got the black on the other. Straighten the cable as much as you can. And what I do, or did, was then push this down, because you can see it's not in there. Now it's in there. And this is the big problem that people have had, that when they fix it straight to the PCB and lower it in, it doesn't line up. So my thought, let's line it up like it is now, hold it down, and then just slide this in. As you then slide it down, that, as you can see, the coil is already in there, you're just sticking to it. Now when I bring it out, it's stuck to it. And just push down very lightly, and then you can plug in the USB. Push down the cable a little bit so it's all nice and tight. Plug in the battery, and remembering the polarity of the negative and positive. Negatives here, make sure they're lined up. Plug it back in. And now you can set this down. And if we look really closely, you can see straight on, no issue whatsoever, perfect fit. And that's what you want. See, not that difficult compared to a lot of the others, what they say on their videos. Let's get this tightened up. Yeah, that's as tight as I want it. And now, if we get the a USB cable, and I've already got one here, plug that into the wireless charger. It should go red in a minute to say there's nothing there. When you sit this on top, it detects green, red light says charging, and now it's in the captive portal. And there you go. That's it, nice and simple. Take it off, instantly says it's no longer charging. That goes red, Let's put it back on again. There you go, simple. Well, I hope you found this informational and uh, see you on the next video.